How's it going, everyone? Abstract Tiger Productions here. I'm Chris. I'm Drew. And we are here with another episode of Ruby. We are currently in Volume 2. Last time on Ruby, what happened? Uh, what happened was... Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... That's the best um, Tyler Perry you're going to get from me. <laughs> Ever. Okay, so everyone uh, split up to... Um, do their own investigating. Yes. Okay, that's right. All Yang right. and Neptune went to the nightclub to uh, question her contact. Right. Uh, Blake and Sun um, infiltrated a White Fang rally. And yeah, a White yeah. Fang rally. And we found out that Roman Torchwick is radicalizing the White Fang even more so than they're already radicalized. Yeah. Uh, and we found out that he actually had access to an Elysian Paladin. Yes. They, and they stolen. <laughs> the stolen one, yes. Yes. And um, there was a big fight there and was a he big, lost. <laughs> there was a big fight, he lost, and we got to see um I have a note that I don't remember the context for. Uh, uh, we learned that Aura was the first synth and the big question is who is father? Um, what? Who is father? Yeah. Uh, they keep referencing your father, your father, your father. And so, um, in my mind, I'm thinking that when they reveal who her father is, it's going to be a big deal. Oh, you're talking about... Who are you talking... Oh, you're talking about Penny? Yeah, Penny's father. Oh, okay. But, yeah, she that's, was the first sense with Aura. Okay. Okay. I told you, my, my notes don't make sense to anyone okay. but me. I did not understand. But I have something okay. in here that says Neo. Neo. Like a Matrix okay. reference. Okay. And so, I, I don't remember what the context of that right, was. Right, right. It was the lady with the parasol. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's so. Anyways. Um. Yes. And we just. I think we also discussed that her name is actual Neapolitan. That's because right. Because she has okay. her. Uh, the three colors of the ice cream. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Color scheme. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was seeing Neo and thinking it's a Matrix reference, yeah. but then again, I have a lot of Matrix on the brain right now, so. That's dating the video, but okay. <laughs> to, to a certain degree. Maybe. Maybe not. I just you rewatched all of them. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Don't even start. <laughs> don't even start. <laughs> don't even start. <laughs> this dates the video right here. I'm just saying. Yes. Um, it's the day he wore that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I just ran on myself. All right. Well, I guess um, let's do something else you want to mention. I think we get into the next episode. Sure. No. Uh, now that I know that Neo, what the context of that was again, then I'm good. Okay. All right. Yay, let's get this going. Everybody's doing here in superhero landing poses. Yes. Ruining their knees. Right? <laughs> and they're such posers. Yeah. <laughs> such posers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Pira. Mm hmm. Very Wonder Woman esque, putting on her uniform type. That's what I feel like. Just you know, for me. Oh, oh, she's uh, fighting Cardin. Mm -hmm. Fighting his, his entire, entire team. team Cardinal. <laughs> Training for the tournament, I'm guessing. The, I don't 
Ooh. When Pyrrha throws her mighty shield. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Garden's team is going to yield. <laughs> That's an interesting move. I like the way the music is timed with the, you know, action. Oh yeah, absolutely. She's a very skilled hunter. Oh, yeah. Well, she's a four-time champion. Huntress in training. Yes. Ow. Yep. I don't know if your aura is enough to heal you from that move. Lucky shot. Lucky shot. Well done, Miss Miko. You should have no problem qualifying for the tournament. Thank you, Professor. All right. Now I know that's a tough act to follow, but we have time for one more sparring match. Any sparring volunteers? Sparring match. Hmm. That was sparring. Miss Belladonna, you've been rather docile for the past few classes. Why don't you? I'll do it. Uh oh. Mercury, is it? Very well. Let's find you an opponent. Actually, I wanna fight her. Me. What? I'm afraid Miss Nikos has just finished a match. I recommend you choose another partner. No, it's fine. I'd be happy to oblige. Fisticuffs. want to try what's the point you're a world-renowned fighter we're obviously leagues apart in that case kira nikos is the victor of the match again hmm next time you may want to think a little harder before choosing an opponent i'll be sure to do that that is all for today and remember the dance is this weekend but you all have your first mission on monday I will not accept any excuses. Hmm. Learning is so much fun. <laughs> going on this weekend that uh, sounds pretty lame but you and me i'm thinking not as lame huh <laughs> what the dance this weekend do you want to go or what i don't have time for a stupid dance i thought you of all people would get that you what we want you to go to the dance that's ridiculous blake we're worried about you this investigation is starting to mess with your head you can't sleep, you hardly eat, and to be honest, your grades have been suffering. You think I care?
care about grades? People's lives are at stake. We know, and we're all still trying to figure out what Torchwood is up to. Thanks to you and Sun, we know they're operating somewhere outside of Southeast Vale. And the Shinny Company Records singled out Vale as the primary target for dust robbery over the last few months. Don't forget about their missing military hit, too. But there are still unanswered questions. Blake, you won't be able to find anything if you can't even keep your eyes open. All we're asking is that you take it easy for one day. It will be fun. Me and I will make sure of it. Yeah, we're planning the whole event. Mm. Excuse me? Being copies of Weymouth lasted longer than expected. So why should I rush to pick up where they left off? And now we can make sure you have the perfect night. And once it's all over, we'll return to our search, rested and ready. So what do you think? I think this is a colossal waste of time. Hmm. I'll be in the library. <sighs> Great. We can't keep going like this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> oh, come on. Open the door. I promise not to scream. <laughs> Yes. No. Aww. What? And that is why they call you the Ice Queen. All my life, I <laughs> only cared about the perks of my last name. Besides, Ruby just realized there was I gravity. <laughs> date or no date, none of this will matter if we can't get Blake to go. Hmm. Cocky kid. <laughs> well done. Your sword plays improved immensely. Couldn't have done it without you. So, are you ready to move on to Aura? I'm actually thinking maybe we just skip Aura tonight. Might go on a jog or something. Come on. I know you get frustrated, but you must keep trying. I'm sure we'll discover your semblance any day now. That's just it's dumb what is it john you know you can tell me miss weiss oh <laughs> oh what about her i asked her to the dance and she shot me down <laughs> big surprise right <laughs> well i believe the saying goes there's plenty of fish in the sea that's easy for you to say. You've probably got guys clamoring over each other just to ask you out. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh, please. If you don't get a date to the dance, I'll wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Piranigos. Ah, the invincible girl. She's smart. But I wouldn't say invincible. Do tell. Her semblance is polarity. But you'd never know just by watching. After she made contact with my boots, she was able to move them around however she wanted. But she only made slight adjustments. Just enough to make it look like she's untouchable. She doesn't broadcast her power, so it puts her opponents at a disadvantage. Oh, people assume she's full of victory when she's really taken fate into her own hands. Interesting. Add her to the list. You should be able to take her no problem. It's not about overpowering the enemy. It's about taking away what power they have. And we will. In time. I hate waiting. Don't worry, Mercury. We have a fun weekend ahead of us. And... 
introduce it. And that is episode five. So pure versus cardinal. Yep. Pure and one. Pure one. Yes. <laughs> cardinal zero. <laughs> uh, pure versus mercury. Mercury forfeited. Forfeited. But it was just there gaining information. Yeah. Um, Sun asked Blake out to the dance. Yes, and Blake is... Uh, I don't know if you you probably noticed that uh, they put bags under her eyes. I did, and, actually. Yeah, she's really Ever... obsessed about this whole white thing and mm -hmm. what's going on and whatnot. Uh, Jean asked Weiss out to the dance with terrible singing. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't play the guitar. You're not wrong. Yeah. He plays the guitar very well. Um... Pira and Jean, uh, friend zone. Jean just essentially friend zone Pira. Well, because that's the worst thing you can do is if a girl likes you, ask her for girl advice. <laughs> just terrible. Well, he's oblivious. In more ways than one. Yes. <laughs> well, I've been saying since since volume one. Those two have a spark. He's just too, too not smart to realize yeah, it. Yeah, yes. He is a little I almost dense. said the S word, and I was like, I don't want to say that. That's mean. It's, it's an animated character. I can't blame him. Um, <laughs> blame the writing. No, I'm just kidding. Blame the writers. Uh, okay. Uh, Cinder, <laughs> Neptune, and Mercury are planning something, yep. and that hair is significant because it zoomed in on it. But that's about it. The hair. Yeah, she held a hair up. No, it was end. a needle. Was that a needle? Yeah. I thought it was a hair. It was a needle. Okay. Needle. She was sewing. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought she was sewing, but I thought I, I thought she was, like, holding a hair. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, not a self-contained episode. No, no. It, it, uh... It's part of an overarching story. Oh, yes. Very much so. Um, what was that, about 21 minutes? No, I don't think so. I can't tell. I can't see from I here. I can't see from here either. Um, um I, I yeah, I, I need like I get like a secondary monitor to it so I can just have it right over here so I can have more referencing. <laughs> so or something yeah. off. Somebody was like, oh, okay, I know what this is. So, you know, just have like information just off over here, but um, I don't have that yet. Um, I don't. Have yeah, we had. Uh, Apparently a dance coming up mm -hmm. on the weekend. That has something to do with the tournament, I'm assuming. Um, no, it's just a dance. It's oh. like a random school dance. Oh, it has nothing to do with... Um, um, uh, the, uh, the Vital Festival? No. What's it? What's the word I'm looking for? Meet and mingle for the uh, participants of the tournament. No. Okay, so no. it's just a regular it's just a regular school dance, school and, dance uh, for you know having a school dance. Okay. Okay. Um, and I can say that because it's not really a spoiler or anything. It's just a dance. You know, okay. Because I don't know. My school had, I mean, they were centered around something. Obviously, you know, like a dance, just randomly or whatever. Yeah. Like sometimes you know, depending on the school year and what's going on. Like during the third semester, which had absolutely no holidays in it whatsoever, it had something like a spring dance or something like that to break up the monotony of the semester. I don't know if uh, yours did or not or whatever. Uh, we had a homecoming dance. We yeah. had a Christmas type Shitting. thing. Yeah. Um, I was in ROTC, so we had military ball and then prom. Yeah, pretty much. I know we had homecoming and prom were the two biggest ones. Christmas was more along the lines of uh, the entire. We had like the program or whatever. That, yeah. Um. That was that was was put on. Um. But that one, one didn't really much of a dance or anything like that. Mm -hmm. but, um. Then there was the uh, Halloween. Thing. Uh, that was no that was that was no never mind that was um 
I, I was I'm misremembering something. I, I, the, the the fall festival thing was the round thing that oh, was okay, around okay. Halloween. Yeah. We didn't call it the Halloween party or or, or community thing because they dropped the Halloween part because it wasn't it was not PC enough. Yeah. Thank you, '90s, for introducing that stupid concept. Uh, Thank you, people... the '90s, for giving birth to me. <laughs> hey. I have nothing uh, well, to say about the '90s, but all my stuff happened in the thousands. <laughs> so, in, in, like the, the, in the in the aughts, in the aughts, um, zeros. <laughs> for those of you who don't know what that means, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, um, but yeah. Anyways, back to this. Um, <laughs> and apparently, the people who were over charge of setting it up and getting things, they're out on a mission and they're taking a little bit longer. Yeah. And now, Weiss. And Yang. Yang are heading up the uh, the, the dance, dance decoration. Yeah, they they dance. Yeah, they're setting it up. They're getting it all together, decorating and all that fun stuff. And interesting. <laughs> That's I... um, gonna be an interesting clash because we have Weiss's prim and proper clashing with Yang's wildness. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's going to look like Two-Face up in that uh, uh, gymnasium. One side's going to be... And the other side's going to be... Ah! So. But, and we also had... Uh, you know, you mentioned that... What, uh, what, uh, Pira and John had a conversation. Mm -hmm. She He's avoiding aura training. <laughs> yeah. Um, but this was not like any other time. It was pretty much like he went on with the whole uh, uh, Weiss thing. And, yeah. And he made mention that if Pira does not have a date for the dance, he will wear a dress to it. Foreshadowing, I'm assuming. Unless he has to wear a dress and she wears a suit because they go together. That'd be funny. <laughs> uh but no, I would think that but, um, uh, uh, the fact that she is such a good fighter would be emasculating, and that's why no one's interested in her. And I, I hate to say that, yeah, but I can, it's, yeah, it's I mean, true. yeah, I mean, four-time champion. Yeah, she's been on a cere you know, cereal breakfast cereal box. I mean, yeah. that's intimidating to anybody, really. She was in a box. <laughs> you don't I mean, know who like, she is. It's like you know, <laughs> it's like recognizing Shaq only from Wheaties. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. No. Um, has was Shaq been on Wheaties? I know oh, Michael I'm Jordan sure. has. I'm but sure. Anyways, I'm yeah, sure yeah, he's been yeah. on Wheaties. Yeah. If he hasn't been on Wheaties, he's been like the little corner picture on Frosted Flakes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Phelps. Uh, I guess he's been on. He yeah. looks like an he looks like an every man. He could just pass in society. If you don't know who he is, he just he's a dude walking down the street. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, anything else? Uh, no. We pretty much covered it. Um, yeah. I mean, it was not much happened, but yeah, you know, things did happen. Things. The show exists. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that fight with the beginning there with Pyrrha was great. I liked that. The, was, the yeah. choreography with the shield yes. was awesome. Yes. It, whenever I, I remember whenever I first watched this, whenever it came out, this particular one, it was just mm -hmm. like, oh, this... It isn't 2013-ish, and I think that was right around... Captain America? No, that was around around Avengers time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, 2012. Yeah. So we had seen Captain America throw his mighty shield, literally. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and obviously, you know, they did have that inspiration here. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but whenever Mercury was fighting, and uh, he has ankle shotguns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I noticed okay. that. Uh, I, I, so if I if I would pair up a fight, um, between the shotgun bracelets shotgun and guns. his ankle shotguns, I think Yang and him would Oof. face off really well. Though, 
But the polarity gave, prim- gave her a definite advantage yes. over his boots. Yes. And he kicks very well. Yes. He, um... He is the Donnie Yen <laughs> in this show. Like, it's all he in the He relies, yes, he, he relies a lot on his kicks. Um, As he should. Yeah. Uh, so... That's something to watch for. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, we still yet to see Emerald do her any of her stuff. Emerald. Emerald. Yes. You know who Emerald is. The third of the Cinder. Yes. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cinder, Emerald, and... I have no idea why I put Neptune. Neptune's the dude. Yeah, Neptune is is his son's friend. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I put... Em- uh, I, I knew Emerald, and I wrote Neptune. That's why I was like... <laughs> I just realized I put that wrong. Um, they have yet to see what she is capable of doing. I assume it has something to do with her hair. Why do you think that? Because the way it moves when she when she moves her head. It could just be the in a like I, I picture thing, it like so. kung low kung lao. It's just a wig and she. <laughs> I'm um, going to say no. That's not it. <laughs> you know, no, it's not going to have anything to do with that. But obviously, she's finding being pretending to be friends a little bit tiresome because you know when she you know Ruby turns and looks at her, she like gives a smile and then just you know whenever she looks away. I did notice. Yeah, Pira is on the same team as Jean, Ren, and Nora. Nora. Yes. (laughs) For some reason, I thought you said Aura, and I and it confused me for a second. Uh, but I did not see those two in the crowd when they were watching our fight. I only saw uh, Ruby Blake. I didn't see any of them. I don't know where they were. I mean, they could have been. I, I don't know. Who knows where they were? Okay. They just probably chose not to show them. Okay. I mean, I who knows? I didn't know if it was like a um, team thing, and I was like, Jean's there. I, I would imagine that fight started. Because, you know, Pira was called, okay, and then Cardin raised his hand and said, me and my entire team would challenge her. You know, yeah. Something, like, overly cocky like that. Yeah. Just... <laughs> it failed, epically. <laughs> yes. She was very dominant in that sparring match, <laughs> as it was called. <laughs> it was... Again, I don't think his aura is strong enough for him to heal from that fall. That was like straight up on the neck, <laughs> and then <laughs> so. But yeah, yeah, so that was episode five yep. of Ruby Volume Two. Yarp, yarp. Is this what you really, really want? Yarp. See yourself. I'm very looking forward to see what happens in episode six the next one, yeah. and the rest of this volume. I'm not sure how many episodes there are. There per are volume. twelve. I feel like oh, okay, 13. so we're about halfway uh, yeah. through with the volume then. Close to it, yeah. So twelve or thirteen, I can't remember. Yeah, I was looking at it earlier, uh, and now that's just gone out of my mind because it was like important at the that very second, and then it was just like okay, gone. A lot of stuff goes <laughs> out of my mind. <laughs> Alrighty. Anything else? Any last final thoughts? Nope. Okay. All right. Well, until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you do not miss an episode of this Ruby reaction. I just confused myself with that accent. I don't know what that was. It just slipped out. I apologize. But be sure to check out our Patreon down there. There are things on there that aren't on YouTube. So go check that out. And until next time, bye-bye and be blessed.